Do you want to know how the arm and body relate to create an effortless swing? Get a bat and you'll be able to see how easy it is to get your body and arm to swing in unison to have an easy effortless swing. The swing is based off of the motion of just allowing this bat to circle around. When it's straight up and down, all I'm doing is allowing this bat to circle around. To apply that to a tennis swing, I'm pretending like I'm in my starting position and I'm getting my body to now get the bat to fall back. So I'm letting the motion initiate because of what my body's doing. I'm not controlling anything with my arm. I'm initiating that circle to allow it to swing. I'm applying the motion that was happening right here to how my body is going to let that happen and it swings out and I can finish up high on my swing. It doesn't matter if you're doing that on a forehand, a one-handed backhand, or a two-handed backhand. I can still be over here on my two-handed backhand, let that initial movement fall back because of what my body's doing, and swing and finish up high over my shoulder. If I'm practicing it from a one-handed backhand, I'm here, I let this fall back, and I finish up high. Once you start to get familiar with that with the bat, go back to your racket, feel what your body had to do to get that initial fall back with the racket. You're here, it's following through. And you're allowing yourself to feel that momentum that you were just working on and practicing with the bat. Whether I'm a one-handed backhand and I'm letting that initial racket fall back and feeling the momentum, or I'm a two-handed backhand and it's here and I follow through up high. Use the bat to train your body to feel where the momentum is gonna be with that swing, and you'll be able to start working on that effortless swing.